Hey everybody, Michael from RoyalElements.com and today we're going to be walking through step by step how to use Cricut Print Then Cut using a Cricut machine and printable vinyl. So this is the project we made and let's walk through the steps. Now, beginning off, you're going to need a Cricut machine. We're using an Explore 3. You could use an Explore Air 2, Explore 4, Maker, Joy, really anything, any Cricut machine, uh, because we're going to be using Design Space. And so you will need a Cricut machine for this. So we're going to be using our Royal Elements matte printable vinyl for inkjet and laser printers. Um, and so the reason we're using matte printable vinyl is because it's a lot easier to print and cut with anything like glossy or clear. It's reflective and you'll need to go through an extra step of putting uh, matte tape over the cut lines. And so this is what the paper looks like that we'll be using. Now you have two different options for cutting mats. You will need a cutting mat. You could either go with the standard grip which is green. We're not a fan of this because it tends to really cling to the back of the sticker paper and rip it up and just cause issues. We instead recommend a light grip mat. You can see we have been a big fan and this has been used quite a bit, but light grip is much better because it doesn't really hold the glue onto the sticker. So here we're going into design space. You're going to need to download design space this is a free software by Cricut and we're going to select our image. So I just chose a random one. This is a red panda and we have Cricut access. It is a paid subscription. Uh, if you don't, you could use the free version, um, but it'll open up a lot of different options for you. So with print then cut, we need to print on either printable sticker paper or printable vinyl. We're using our matte printable vinyl, and then we're going to drag down the size of our image. If you see there uh, in black in the text box right below the image, that is the size of the sticker, which is about three inches. So depending on how big your project is and how big the surface is, you're going to want to reduce that accordingly. So I duplicated these. I'm gonna arrange them a little bit, and this next step is absolutely critical. Once you select your images, you need to go down there and hit flatten. This will allow you to print and cut. Otherwise, you're gonna run into some issues with uh, your printer treating it as adhesive vinyl and it's gonna come out looking all weird. So we're gonna save our project, Red Panda, so we can come back to it later. Hit save and then we are going to move on to the next step, which is to position our images on our printable vinyl. So you can see there the cut lines are going to come out. It's eight and a half by 11 inch sheet. Okay. If you have a four, uh, which is a little bit uh, taller and skinnier, it's European size, slightly different. But once that looks good, just hit continue. And now we're going to move on to the next set of steps. So to print and cut, first we need to print out this image, set the base material, load the tools and material and press go. So we're going to set this up with our printer. We're using a laser printer today. You could use either options just depending on the packaging and the brand you're using. Ours is compatible with both. We're going to add the bleed here. So a little bit of that black outline around the edge of the pandas will be visible. So it looks good. So here's our laser printer. We're a lot more big fans of laser printers now than inkjet. This is a color laser jet pro by HP. Um, and you could also use an inkjet, but um, we prefer this. So we're going to remove the standard copy paper. Okay. So we need to print on our printable vinyl, not our copy paper. So here we are putting the printable side up, though it's different for every printer. And we're going to place one sheet in there. Okay. So now we're ready to verify our print quality. And then that's going to make sure that our cut lines here are good to go. And so we printed it out. So now we have our images with our cut lines and now we need to stick this in the Cricut machine. But first I'm going to take a quick glance and these stickers look beautiful, ready to be cut out. So we're going to take our light grip mat. We are going to take our printed printable vinyl stickers uh, with the cut lines there so Cricut can read them and we're going to line them up. It doesn't have to be perfect because our machine is going to read the cut lines and figure out where it is. 
but I like to line it up because um, I'm a perfectionist and I like to put it right where it should be. So that looks good. We smoothed it down. Next, we're gonna open up our Cricut machine. It's time to set that up. Uh, and so this is our Explore 3. It's been doing really good for us and it is has never really made a mistake. So I'm gonna take that plug. I'm going to plug in the power to the back of the Cricut machine, and then I'm going to plug in our other adapter. So it's good to go, we hit on, okay? And if you have not registered your Cricut machine, you will need to do that first with Cricut.com, but we already did. And we wanna make sure that we have some room in the front and back so that the cut mat, the cutting mat doesn't um, run into issues. So we're going to now connect our Cricut machine, uh, make sure your Bluetooth is on and it looks like we're good to go. So we're next going to select our base material. If you remember, we're using matte printable vinyl. If you're using glossy or something different, you would select a different material, but we're using matte vinyl. So that's what we select. So now we're going to load our cutting mat into the Cricut machine with our printable vinyl um, print that cut set up it is going to make sure everything is good to go. We're gonna hit the go button, and this is going to take about um, a minute or so to read all these cut lines. So that's what the machine is doing now. And then it's going to cut out around the edges. So if you remember what I said before, the matte printable vinyl, the cut lines are usually read way easier uh, with glossy or clear or holographic. A lot of times the reflective surface um, it runs into issue with that light you saw on the Cricut machine. And so you would need to put matte tape over all these cut lines. We've done tutorials on that in the past. You can look through our library of videos. But right now, what we see is our Explore 3 cutting out the shapes of all four of our red pandas. So you could always increase or decrease the size, the uh, amount of stickers. If you're a small business, you might want to use up every single square inch of, of your sheet as you can. Um, but for this demonstration, we're doing these three inch uh, stickers and about four of them, okay? So you'll see that the cut lines come out. Uh, that's all it takes, it's about a minute. We hit undo and then now, if you take a close look, you can just barely see the cut lines, right? With the bleed slightly overlap. So a little bit of black ink around the edges so that we don't cut into our sticker or make any mistakes. So we're good to go and put up our Cricut machine. You don't need it anymore. Um, you can, of course, cut these by hand, but this is a professional clean look and uh, you won't run into as many issues. So you could use this hooked weeding tool we're showing right now. Um, that's more for adhesive vinyl and cutting out all these interesting patterns. For this, it's really easy just to pop out these die cut stickers and we're going to take a closer look and I can't see any mistakes here so it looks really good okay so all we have to do is then pick off a corner remove that paper backing and then we're going to stick this onto our surface which in this case is a water bottle this adhesive is permanent but it does not leave a residue so that's kind of the healthy balance of what you want, a permanent sticker, but doesn't leave any goo unless you leave it in the sun and it bakes on. So um, fair warning there, but this is how our sticker turned out. You could always laminate over top of it if you are going to put it outside or if it's going to get wet or uh, be exposed to the elements. But this print then cut setup is exactly what you want to use for all of your projects. I hope this video helped. Leave a like and I will see you in the next video.